All right, so the HBO documentary, The Scheme, aired on Tuesday night, and we got to hear the tapes. We got to hear Will Wade uh, talking on a federal wiretap with Christian Dawkins, the famed strong-ass offer, quote, we now finally heard it. So a lot of people are reacting. Here's my general takeaway, and it is important to note that Scott Woodward uh, today, less than 24 hours after The Scheme aired, uh, Scott Woodward has released a statement saying they saw it, uh, Will Wade's employment status hasn't changed and that they will cooperate with any and all NCA investigations as it moves along. A couple of observations from the film. First of all, uh, it is important to note that the particulars on the other side of the argument uh, didn't participate. Uh, it was Christian Dawkins. It was Christian Dawkins' attorney. It was one reporter and uh, Dan Wetzel, who wrote a book 20 years ago about shoe companies paying for players. Uh, that's the extent of who we heard from outside of the federal wiretaps. The federal government, the FBI, did not participate. Those who prosecuted Christian Dawkins, we did not hear from Sean Miller or Will Wade or any of the universities involved. So you only heard one side of the story. And the one side of the story that you heard was a guy who as, a, as an aspiring entrepreneurial 12-year-old formulated his own scouting service and had college coaches paying him $600 a year to subscribe. Hey, I, capitalism, God bless you. But Christian Dawkins did also list himself in his scouting service and listed himself as 6'2 when he's 5'10". Uh, you also have a guy who... Uh, had a former employer's credit card tied to an Uber account that he charged $42,000 to, and then also concocted this uh, big elaborate pay for play scheme. So let's not pass off Christian Dawkins entirely as the victim, but what the scheme did show us was the FBI uh, investigating something and spending literally millions of dollars over three years investigating something which is downright foolish. Uh, essentially that the federal government looks at college coaches as uh, state employees. So uh, in essence, if you are paying or bribing an employee, uh, then that would be a felony bribery charge. That's what the FBI was going after. It all seems very, very silly and foolish. As far as Will Wade is concerned, if there's some line of defense, it's that throughout the, the documentary, there are federal wiretaps where Christian Dawkins is insisting to an undercover FBI agent who he thinks is an investor that paying coaches is not the way that you do this. He insists that you go to the family and the players and that's where you cultivate the relationships, not the coaches. But the federal investigator obviously was looking to set up Christian Dawkins to pay coaches. There's even a part when they're in Las Vegas and Dawkins tells some of his coaching friends, Book Richardson and Tony Bland, hey, look, just humor me and come meet this guy so he'll shut up. He's like, he's going to put money on the table. Don't touch it. I'll take the money so you stay clean. Like, he was protecting the coaches from taking money. So it's plausible after seeing that to think Will Wade never took money from Christian Dawkins. Now, did anything happen with any, any LSU recruits outside of of Christian Dawkins' involvement? Maybe, but that's not what this is about. And again, that's a giant maybe. Here's what we do know. Javante Smart met with NCA investigators, met with LSU Compliance, was allowed to keep playing. Will Wade, after initially refusing to meet with LSU administrators because he was not initially allowed to have an attorney present, later did meet with LSU investigators. Joe Oliva said on the record that Wade answered all of their questions satisfactorily and was allowed to continue his coaching career. Nas Reed, who was also implicated in a conversation between Sean Miller and Dawkins, again, Reed never went to Arizona. Nas Reed said at the NBA Combine last year, after he had signed with an agent and his eligibility at LSU was already done, said, there was no deal, it didn't happen. So what you have here is a decision of, Whose word do you take? Will Wade being on a federal wiretap discussing a strong-ass offer isn't proof that money ever exchanged hands. It just isn't. And apparently the explanation that Wade and Smart and Nas Reed and everybody has been good enough to this point to allow them to continue in their own way. Now listen, I'm not naive. Uh, I understand that pay-for-play has happened in college basketball and all college sports for years, and it's not going to stop because of this documentary. But I also understand that what we saw in the documentary, The Scheme, 
isn't enough to change the status or the opinion of anyone involved in this entire case. Appreciate you for watching here on the Matt Moscone YouTube